The previous project I worked on was also with the London Film Academy, uh, a short two minute film called Writer's Block that we shot on Super 16 film. Uh, it's a film about a guy who can't write a short film, so he kidnaps someone and forces him to be the protagonist at gunpoint. Uh, it's a bit stupid, a bit silly, but it's uh, fun and it's got lots of blood and violence. Back when I was a kid, I used to play with a lot of Lego, in fact I still do, but I used to uh, create these short little stop motion films with an app and uh, that sort of uh, developed into a love of film. Uh, I made a couple of uh, short films with my friends that didn't actually go anywhere. Uh, but from there, I uh, got a couple of uh, small industry jobs and eventually got a place at the London Film Academy where I'm currently still studying. When did I initially learn to make films? Um, I would say mostly by ear, you know, you get the occasional like YouTube channel th or the uh, YouTube tutorial that you get up. Um, I, uh, I learnt the process by ear with my friends from seeing behind the scenes video, but I learnt the actual industry standard process during my first year at London Film Academy, uh, which has been very useful. Hold of the Dead was a script written by a friend and fellow student, Fatima Zahira Khan. And uh, I think fundamentally uh, the film is about uh, grief and trying to, well, hold on to the dead. Uh, the, uh, the, the protagonist is uh, constantly using time travel to, uh, to go back and back and back and back right at the cusp of her mother's death, trying to save her over and over and over again. And when it finally works, uh, not to spoil it, uh, but uh, the mother reveals that she doesn't want to be saved. Plus she's a zombie. Ooh. My favourite horror filmmakers? Uh, the one most relevant to Hold of the Dead would probably be uh, Sam Raimi, uh, especially his work on the uh, e Evil Dead trilogy. Uh, I took a lot of I inspiration uh, from, the, uh, from, from the look of the, of the zombie in my movie from the Deadites from the Evil Dead. Uh, same with uh, how they treat the protagonist as well. Um, I, I also think Raimi, uh, Raimi likes to lean into the inherent uh, cheesiness of horror, which uh, I tried to do uh, with my script. Uh, the violence is always uh, just that little bit extra, just that uh, just lasts for that little bit too long and uh and uh, that was a big influence on me uh especially other than that uh i would also say uh the work of john carpenter too he's got that similar level of heightened reality and uh, uh i was inspired by his work especially when writing the soundtrack to my film um and while he's not a horror director, I would be remiss to say, uh, remiss, amiss not to mention the work of Junji Ito when, uh, write, when drawing my, sto my storyboards and concept art. He's got this, uh, uh, he's got a very, he's got great composition, great de detail in his drawings and uh, his pacing a a as you read through the manga is uh, is incredible. I rammed a bit at, at the end, you might want to cut that, but... Uh... Oh, well that uh, really uh, depends on the 
uh, production in question. Um, with my aforementioned uh, zombie movie idea, my feature film, uh, I think you would have to take into account um, uh, the fact that I want children to be the main leads. Uh, you really need to, uh, you really need to be able to plan out every shot. You need to plan out exactly how your day goes, especially when working with kids, because uh, you're not allowed to uh, work with kids for more than, uh, well, depending on the age, it's like from four to six hours per day, and. Uh, so you would, and so proper storyboarding would, and and a proper shot list would be needed in order to uh, make sure the shots with the kids come first. Could you potentially, uh, could you shoot shoot the adults in the scene with the kids standing just to just to expand the time you've got with the the time on the particular scene that you're shooting. Uh, if I were to shoot in the English countryside, uh, that would also be difficult because time of day is a massive factor, uh, especially if you want to do dawn or dusk, because it's only dawn or dusk for what, like uh, 10 minutes or so with like consistent lighting. So uh, that kind of thing you always need to take into a account and you know, you need a proper, proper plan to ensure it all uh, goes well time-wise. Um, other than that, uh, you just need to have a team that's really, really passionate about what they do. I mean, I was blessed when it comes to Hold of the Dead. I had uh, one of the most fantastic uh, heads of department team and uh, my crew, they all worked perfectly. Uh, I, I always felt safe in the knowledge that uh, whoever I was delegating a task to knew how to do it, knew how to do it well and knew how to do it within the time frame. And uh, yeah, so picking your, your team if you can is uh, one of the most important things when ensuring a production goes smoothly. From my experience, um, I would always go with people I can trust over experience. Um, I would go for the person who's more passionate about the project rather than the person who uh, is more technically experienced. Someone who's more technically experienced, they will, if they're not really engaged in the film would take you know certain shortcuts potentially whereas someone who's really engaged with the project even if they don't know much they will go out and learn because they care that much so I will always go with uh with the people I trust um whew. The hardest part of Hold of the Dead, I would say actually not a lot. Again, I was blessed with a fantastic team. Uh, I think the budget uh, uh, was a bit of an issue. We had a £900 budget. Uh, I f find it quite hard uh, to keep within a budget, so I'm thankful for my producer for... Uh, helping sort out that even even so uh, I'm still pretty sure we went over budget uh, <laughs> and uh, scheduling too is uh, something that I'm not great at uh, in fact uh, we had a moment where an actor uh, the actor playing the zombie who was only in on one day of the shoot um, got the day in which she was coming in wrong uh, and we learnt about that uh, 12 hours before the shoot started. Uh, that was, uh, that was, that caused a massive panic. And uh, I'm thankful to our makeup artist that she was able to uh, swap days too, or else uh, we would not have Hold of the Dead or certainly not have Hold of the Dead with the quality of makeup we currently uh, are showing. My next piece of work um, is, well, I've got a couple of ideas jumbling on in my head. I've got a uh, short 
uh, two minute script that I'm currently writing. It's more of an eldritch horror in the woods sort of piece. Uh, I've got an idea for a incredibly short comedy with uh, cowboys, you know, uh, a quick draw film, which is uh, going to be uh, quite fun, quite low budget. Um, other than that, I'm just uh, planning on continuing my education and uh, seeing uh, where I go from there. But uh, yeah, I hope to be, I hope one of my future projects gets invited back here someday.